public. Um, well, let's move over to new business. Item number one. This is a 6 p.m. public hearing. The ordinance amending the Massachusetts County Land Development Code to allow governmental and private facilities, which are principally and for for military and or law enforcement type training, including without limitation training and exercises in stationary mobile shooting <coughs> and combat method and tactics by special exception in the Agriculture 2 Land Use District. Um, this needs to be addressed by... Oh, it can't go ahead. Sure, go right ahead. Uh, Mr. Uh, Chairman, this is the uh, second public hearing dealing with a proposal to amend the land development regulations for Madison County. Um, as uh, you all are aware, uh, we discovered uh, recently that we do not have a, um, have a designation that would allow a tactical training facility, a facility where uh, police and military type uh, training might take place. Uh, this ordinance would, um, would provide a method where this board could approve such facilities if they desire to in the future. Um, it just gives you the option of approving that. It does not approve any particular facility. It does not guarantee anyone approval of any particular facility, but it allows the board to accept applications for a special exception to approve facilities. Um, the original ordinance uh, applied, the ordinance presently states that it allows that in the A2 designation. You all have received a, uh, the, this process also goes through the Planning and Zoning Board. The Planning and Zoning Board made some re requests for revision to the ordinance that are before you and they're marked in red. Uh, that at this time, at the conclusion of this hearing, you all would have the opportunity, you could uh, enact the ordinance as it was originally set up, you can enact these revisions, some of these revisions, uh, etc. Um, but I think right now, what you should probably do, Mr. Chairman, is open up to the public, let the public say, uh, present whatever they would like to present, and close it to the public uh, for the board. So. Okay, as, as mentioned, this is a public hearing, so we'll open it up for public comment at this time. And I, I would I'd go ahead and yeah. recognize Mr. Prim, you're the chair with the planning and zoning, so are you going to see him? Uh, uh, sorry, I missed the first year meeting, but I had another day with it. But uh, yeah, we we hashed it through, uh, and uh, the recommendations we made uh, have been uh, utilized through uh, an NRA approved firing range. Uh, so, in, in order to best protect neighbors and uh, also where the uh, owner of the actual range would also in his own way be protected through the ordinance. Uh, so we, we would encourage you to approve it as, as we have written it up for you. Uh, like I said, we said it took a couple, two and a half hours. And we talked through it and hashed through it and uh, many changes. Some of the things we did right, we even changed ourselves when we really looked and we really tried to uh, look from all different angles and also uh, tried to protect uh, the uh, local backyard gun enthusiast and his friends on a Saturday afternoon uh, to where there was no way, uh, any way that we would look into impair the Second Amendment at all, uh, but also provide an avenue for someone who is going to have a commercial type range that, okay, you need to operate this map. But that was a question. You know, I, I personally I appreciate the uh, zoning board for all your hard work and diligence on this. And that's just what I came tonight to. Usually when we got something like this one, I like to come and tell y'all why and what. So that's why I just would encourage y'all to, uh, to approve it. All right. Thank you, Thank sir. You. Okay. Is there anyone else in the audience want to address the ordinance? There's a sign-in sheet, too, that um, I'll just put your name on that back if, if anybody would, would like to speak. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Just a point of clarification, uh, since the ordinance does address and, and mention law enforcement, military, things like that, um, just to remind everybody and the public that the Sheriff's Office does not make laws, we only enforce them. 
this is not part of my doing or my request or my information or anything with this ordinance. Um, originally, they mentioned to me that they were going to be trying to address or have an ordinance like this, which I have no problem with. But I wanted to clarify, there's a lot of wording that's not in the ordinance. Um, number one, that if we do get complaints from the public over noise or times of shooting or gunfire or a stray round or anything like that, I don't care what the ordinance says, we're going to be addressing it. And I hope that anybody that uh, induces that ordinance to have a range or to have some other facility to use firearms, they use a little bit of common sense. The Madison County Sheriff's Office owns a firing range near Cherry Lake. And we try to be very diligent about the times that we use that during the daylight hours. If it's on the weekend, on Sunday, we wait till after church is over before we fire our weapons out there for training. We're required by law to requalify through FDLE standards. We just finished um, requalifying yesterday, as a matter of fact, um, at the uh, college's range. But we can't always use that range. Sometimes we have to use our range that's, uh, of course, outdoors. The point of that is that essentially we try to uh, honor the public. And in this ordinance, um, I have nothing against it or for it. I'm, I'm glad that uh, people want to open businesses. If that's what that's going to be, that's fine with me. But just understanding as a point of information again that we didn't, this is not a sheriff's office request. This is not sheriff's office input. This is county commission ordinance ordained by the powers that be. And we would, and unfortunately, if they are complaints, we're going to answer them. And it may be that the answer has to be to the public listen, this is a legal firing range or practice or whatever the rounds may be, explosion may be and that they have an issue with that, they need to come back to the board uh, to address that. Just a point of information. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah. Anyone else? Hey, Ms. Marie? Yeah. Um, if you would, please, ma'am, so we can get to you, enter the record. Uh, I, 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 I have okay. a problem Let's, walking. Okay, I'm go right sorry. ahead, ma'am. Uh, I will stand. If uh, I heard that that uh, uh, Moody, uh, this involves Moody too. No, this ordinance doesn't involve Moody. A special exception might, but the ordinance doesn't involve. Well, uh, the. Uh, and I, I've been on the phone all day, and nobody seems to know anything. Now, uh, I, uh, Moody hasn't come up, uh, and as far as as firing ranges go, uh, I don't know why the the uh, the sheriff's office. The county lets them have that property uh, to train in. When I've lived up there for 28 years, when, uh, at one time they did train there very frequently. Uh, I had, they haven't uh, in the past few years, and they uh, and. Uh, uh, an officer that has since retired uh, uses it for his private uh, NRA course and uh, uh, for a minimal fee. I think, you know, it's not that the sheriff's office is not using it as the intention was when it was given to them by the county and they ought to either close it or open it up to the public, and that that's a good idea, just to open it up to the public. Okay, thank thank you, ma'am. Uh, any other public comments on this ordinance? Chairman, I, I think the uh, the uh, zoning committee did a really good job putting in the NRA type things that are requirements. Um, and of course, the, I 
think the owner has no problem with those things being added up or um, the nice lady there was talking about the, the counting on the top and this one. So. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Jim? How are you doing, Stephen? Good, how are you? Good. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to hear more about the noise level and uh, property values of neighboring people how it's going to affect people. Why did Mr. Graham or Ms. Bass or somebody to come up with tell me what happened? Okay. I can elaborate on that a little bit more. Well, those, uh, I guess, if I declare as chair, was 